Hello everyone, this is just a very quick follow-up on my previous video in which I derived an expression for the amount by which the radius of an elastic ring will expand um, if we start rotating it due to centrifugal forces. And what I want to do in this video is just quickly put in some realistic numbers to get a sense of how quickly you would actually have to rotate this ring around in order to observe any appreciable effect. Now the expression we derived last time is here, so the change in radius that you get is roughly equal to the density of the material times the cube of the original radius times the square of the angular speed, all divided by the Young's modulus. Now just to get a sense of the numbers, uh, I found some typical values um, for rubber. Apparently a typical Young's modulus would be 0.01 gigapascals and a typical density would be a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. Um, and of course these are just order of magnitude estimates, it's going to depend on uh, what kind of rubber exactly you have. Uh, and these figures by the way came from a website called the Engineering Toolbox. And so what I want to do is just take our equation here, rearrange it for omega. So if we change the subject and make omega the subject, we're going to get omega is the square root of E times delta R divided by rho times R naught cubed. And let's say for example we have a ring of radius um, five centimeters, okay? So five centimeters. And let's say we want to observe a 10% expansion uh, so we want the change in radius to be five millimeters, okay? Then if we put the numbers in, use these uh, typical order of magnitude values for E and rho, we find that omega would be um, around 630 um, radians per second. Now what does that mean in terms of revolutions per second? Well, because there are two pi radians in one revolution, we just got to divide that by two pi, um, and that turns out to be um, around 100 um, revolutions uh, per second. Okay, so that's pretty fast, which makes sense. Um, you wouldn't really expect to get a huge expansion um, unless it's a really, really elastic material. So you have to rotate this thing pretty fast in order to observe an appreciable effect.